That was a big, big turning point. Uh, this guy did alright. He got top 128. No, this isn't the one. I got top 128. Yeah, Evo. I'm gonna say Evo. That's a fucking. Oh, okay. Sorry, like, like, wow. That is a bloody achievement, that Evo. Yeah, because it's 2,000 entrances. 2,600. Okay, well, fair enough. Okay, I was told sweet, man. the French are just giving me misinformation. Now I was told it's Ken Sazak, but it is in fact Madkov. Madkov doesn't. I mean, you got a few teams that have entered with players who don't really play the game, just to make up numbers, which is you know more than fair enough to get someone to call it in. This is a, by no by no means a slouch team. They got Dominion, they got Gamer B, Punko. and they got Punko. Like, that is free champions alone, you know. Yeah, yeah. All winning majors across the world. Uh, on previous occasions, so not sure who Takari is. I understand from Netherlands' perspective, they didn't really get all due respect to the guys that are here. Oh, that was lovely! They didn't really get their best players out. I think who? You know, what, what country? Netherlands. I mean, there's no NBR. There's no. Uh, you know, there's, there's a few players from Netherlands that aren't here. Yeah, Robin isn't here. Wow! Please hit! Please hit! Oh. Uh, that would have that would have made wow, my that day. Was a strange way to finish it. Who's that laughing in the background? Uh, M uh, M <laughs> Ken Sizag is laughing his head off. But you know what? That's actually a common um, tactic in Japanese arcades. They'll throw that Hail Mary Ultra out. Yeah, they'll do it. Just do it. Wow, crowd set with sweet Rigel blood. Rigel. Oh, I like that standing medium. Don't come near me, fam. That's it, man's dashing rocks now, yeah? You better be careful with that sweep. That's a guaranteed ultra. Guaranteed. Did you did you see Hey, Fasol Ultra yeah. Fasol did Ultra 2 to a Cooper sweep. Facing, facing. So it's too far away. I'll tell you what. Because he did it on reversal frame. Yeah, listen to me now. I would have fell for the same thing. That's quality play from Takedo. I would have ultra two. So oh, it's, it is broken. guaranteed, but from closer. It's guaranteed, but I'm guessing he spaced it so well that. The ultra connected on its like 10th or 11th frame. Because okay. it's a one frame punish, reversal timing. So if it's spaced too far away, and Ibuki's ultra isn't like Dudley's, it doesn't go far and then the first hit is active always in eight frames. Yep. Her ultra's nine frames and the first hit is not always active in nine frames because, because of the range. So he just spaced it really and that's the only reason it didn't hit. Okay. Even then, there's another particular spacing like a glitch where she can get an elbow and it connects and then the hard kick whiffs, man. I think they've buffed that though. I think they've fixed that now though. So. Right, now we got the Rose player. This guy got 100, 100, top 128 either. I had to knock him out. Yeah, he wasn't bad. Who, Ken Sezang? Uh, Ken Sezang, yeah. He doesn't really play this game, but he did pretty well. I think he does play this game, actually. What am I talking about? He plays this game. He knocked out a lot of people at Evo. If he got 128, 228, then he must play he the game. He plays the game, yeah. Unless Evo is in the of po drunk poker players. Ow. Guaranteed, bro. I mean, let's be honest, we're all hoping these guys lose so we can see the beasts. Oh, stop focusing. Yeah, I haven't seen Gamer B or Punko play yet. I saw Punko play yesterday, boy, but he didn't really get to do much. That's all I'm saying, boy. That's all I'm saying. Say no more, boy. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Ooh, jump. No, no, don't jump. I'm not talking about jump. I think you gotta I think you gotta jump there. Yeah, good. If you jump but after it starts, then, then I think you're good. You're dandy, you're dandy. Oh my days. Bro, that's lovely. Just do that. it, just do it ultra. So, oh. Crouch first into the spiral to put him in position to apply pressure. I like that. Oh, he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself. Takari looking a bit flustered right now. Needs to pull his finger out. Oh, what way? Oh, look at this pressure. Identified there's no meter. Oh, missed times to save jump. Well, oh, that's a nice setup. Doesn't take the bait though. Oh, wow. I'm not taking any risk. Back that's about five times there. I'm looking really comfortable right now. It's Ken Suzang. Why is it RO team? Oh, team rest of the world. Right. Oh no, 
nice. And that was a really well controlled game there from um, Pinsis. And he realized he didn't have to really do much more than just keep his opponent out. And he did exactly that. Sakari seemed a bit lost. Has to find an answer to that method. Unfortunately, he will bow out. Someone's asking me about Island's Team Island for 5v5. There is no Team Island for 5v5. Is, v5. is they, there? They were just playing over there. Were they? Was that not them? No, it was Sweden versus Switzerland. I saw all the Irish in the hotel. Oh, wait. oh they are over there. Yeah, all the Irish. Okay, well, they're not on the, ch on the chart oh, here that yeah, I have. The so they've probably been put in somewhere. Japan, Surprising. Sweden. I just replied to a tweet and said that there is no Team, team Island because oh, yeah. there isn't on my sheet, but apparently there is. But all their main players are not here. Cobblecog's not here. Um, that Cody player whose name begets me right now is not here. So you probably, if they're playing over there now, I don't know if you're going to see them play. Yeah. So I'm not sure what this name is, but he is one of the organizers for RFD, which is a tournament coming up at the end of this month. Everyone's hyped and excited for that. Are you ready? I do one. Okay, uh, button check, cool. Hopefully this name is here somewhere. Cause I'm sure he said A-U-H, didn't he? Yeah, just find a, just find a Dutch flag fan. It's not here. It doesn't list all the names on this website, don't know why. It's not here, I promise you it's not here. Wait. That's France. No, sorry, it's second time. What's he got on his... On? Okay. Oh, I don't know. Dutch people talk to me. Apparently this guy's name is A-U-H. I, was going, uh, I find that difficult to believe. AQH. Okay, thank you, Robin. Robin, why aren't you here? There's no excuses, man. Look at you leaving your team out to dry. This is disgusting. Can you tell Valentine that it's AQH, please? Are you ready? Fight! Okay, Evil Ryu. Oh, this character is so such an understudy. Such an underrated, underrated. animal. I want to see that um, hop into EX Tatsu. That was kind of made famous at Shadowloo Showdown last year. Once Evil Ryu has a bar and a half, the next combo will build him an extra bar and a half. And you will die if you get hit by the mix up the follows. Wake up forward, that's wow. He is taking a beat down right now, though. He's not being allowed to think. That was almost a, a desk combo with Rose backdashing towards the fireball. <laughs> it's like zero respect being shown here by Ken Suzan. He's just playing a completely random game, which is fair. I mean, if your opponent's not... Oh, it doesn't convert. Ultra. Oh, my God. What a turnaround. That's done good damage. She's got Time. a bar. Oh, what has she done? He got that. He backdashed, I think. Very backdashed, yeah. He backdashes a lot. Yeah. Wow, he's just got in his face. He's pretty much dominated that whole round, but that's the damage output that Evil Ryu does. Oh, he got to get out of here. Gets his combo. Oh, did that a bit too early. Oh, hey. don't punish! Don't push buttons. Shout out to Frame Trap TV in Dubai. Oh, I like it. Don't jump over my fireball. Oh, what? Caesar. Don't jump, lad. Oh, Rago! Oh, what? Did, 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 did. Nice job. He should be um, altering the gap in. Oh, clever walk up throw. He should have altered the gap in that. Um, yeah. In that soul should, spiral. Yeah. The same but way the we saw T-Pack do it to Luffy and Bushido Impact. That works, but if she does the fireball instead, the ultra, if it's not a projectile. Oh, good jump at the start of the round. If he gets like, he's going in for the kill. Drops his combo. Oh my! What happened? What just happened, man? What's that? Does that link? Shukala Games. Louis Vuitton to the face. This has gone horribly wrong. It was looking so good for AQH. He's got four bars though. If he can get in. If he can do it. Oh, oh double dash. He went, he went for... I don't know what he went for. He, dashed he didn't twice. have the bar for super, so... I think he was going for like, just to apply some pressure. He was anticipating a back dash. This is a hard match for Rose, I feel. Claw now. Oh, it's immersion. Immersion, that's it. Bloody hell, man. I don't remember that. Just I say Emperor and Emerson and stuff. Bloody Emerson. Immersion. 
<laughs> like he's Brazilian. This guy is a classic Dutch player. He's one of the better players on the team, no doubt. Oh, he's on the Arms House stream as well. Shout out to Immersion. He's been loyal to uh, his character for the best part of half a decade now. It's weird. A lot of Zangief players actually quite like Claw as a, as a backup character. Yeah. Or just like playing around with him. I never bothered to learn a charge character though, so. Immersion? Alright, here we go. Emerging had a big hand in getting uh, the Dutch team out to Canada Cup this year, so shout out to him. The way Ken Zang likes to keep pressure up, I can, I can expect to see a mask or a claw flying away. He's capitalizing on a lack of knowledge from uh, a lot of players. Oh, reset the thing. I mean, I don't think Vega loses to anyone on the ground. Honestly, his ground game is insane. He's a good pick against Sagat, isn't he? That's pretty good against Sagat. Yeah. I think he beats Sagat slightly. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sit down. Don't slide, lad. Don't slide. Oh, I like that meaty. Um, I don't remember that. Who the game? Oh, oh, good God! Don't throw projectiles at me, blood. Don't throw projectiles. Oh my days, she's got a super. Don't get hit. Oh, good back dash. Oh, we've oh where's that? the Pope? You got the claws, I've man. seen I've seen Luffy do that though, and then whip out the super. No, but his claws four frames, man. You're not getting nothing out. Able to see that through. Scratch of the throat there to kill the nose. Immersion looking comfortable as ever. Kenzo Zhang probably will show a bit more respect this round. He's been a bit rago, which we love. Everyone loves a bit of rago. Regardless play, but you know, you want to see him like tone it down a little bit and just figure his opponent out now. I'm not sure how safe that was. Nice poke streak. Good, good little tap there with the crash of medium to keep his opponent from advancing forward. Oh, I think that was safe. I'm pretty sure King could keep me though. Vega has no free frame all. Nice focus back there. Nice meaty viral there. He's, and he, he's, as I said, he's changed his game completely now. Playing dry, reserve. Oh, he missed his combo. That could have been it. Do you think he would have popped his super there? Yep, definitely worth it. Especially a round down. You want to secure this round? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Wrong time to press a button. Immersion takes the life lead and has a mix-up opportunity. Oh, he break the button. Hey, the trouble now. Overhead. Oh, she's standing. What is he pressing? Oh, looks like Punko's stepping up to the plates. Oh, this matchup sucks. But I'll tell you what, Vega can make it half a Punko. Vega can. He's got his flip, he reads right, and he, he's got some really interesting air to airs. He's got an air throw. The ground game is heavily in Vega's favor, but the overall matchup is horrid uh, once Vega is knocked down. There's almost nothing to think about for Punko. I mean, I wouldn't even do SPD. Why? Why would I need to do SPD? I would literally just do tap, tap, choose, ping, tap, tap. Dominion's asleep. Maybe he's been asleep on stage a lot today. <laughs> well, I was actually there when this team was formed. Gamer B came in the room uh, yesterday night at about 3 a.m. And he was like, hey, Dominion, um, you got a team for 5 on 5? I want to make team. He's awake now. And that was it. Bang, you know. He's like, oh, no, I, I ain't got a team, yo. Like, uh, what are you saying, dude? I, mean, I, I don't want a team over you. And then he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. We team up. We get a punk call and the two Koweans. The two Koweans, yeah? Make strong team. The make very Koweans. strong team. I was like, I was like, crap! That sounds like a good team, man. This is mad racist. No one. Everyone's a little bit racist sometimes. <laughs> Coming out, you might as well face it. It ain't a crime. Ah, oh, he gets tagged. Anyone who's seen Avenue Q will know that track, man. In front. Oh, stand pro, yeah. Oh, don't stand up, lad. Don't try to see me, but oh my days! He merged in the place, lad. Oh, he knows his teams. Ultra, own stomp, mix up. Oh, he drops his, he drops his kick. I like that. I like the fact that. Oh, the free jumping. Oh, clever boy. This isn't gonna kill Ultra. It's not gonna kill. Heavy kill. That is literally pointless, Ultra. Oh, no, absolutely worth it. It hit twice. Did you see the damage it did? Yeah, because you you ruined your juggle and. Oh, he jumps in. Oh my God. He must have been able to do something about that jump in. Once he blocked the Sonic Boom, was I don't know, but try, trying to... Trying to run away lost him in the round. Oh, 
Oh no, not that angle. Oh, Munko's brought his back after looking quite. Oh, I hate that teleport on the head like that. You don't even know side jump. Look at these frame traps. Just pressure. Reversal out there. Oh my days! Hill backdash. Munko will do that. He'll backdash when he needs to get out there's that jumping again, land low. Quality pressure there from Bunko. Made the decision to throw the fireball and burn the meter just to get in. And it could pay off it. Good block. Oh, ultra. Oh no, Vex gets it. He gets away the back dash. Oh my days, man. It's Bunko's gonna chip in for the finish. Oh, he can't do nothing. Hard flip. Bunko. Oh. Storm point on Ninja. With a solid performance there. Oh, they could have put on Mommy early. Why don't they put on the boxer for this? Mommy is without a shadow of doubt the, the backbone of this team. He is the Dutch Holland player. Sorry, the Dutch Holland, Holland player. The Dutch Faylong Faylong. player. Probably yeah. the best player in, in Holland. I'd uh, say so now, yeah. At the moment. And, and they're putting him on early. I mean, I think they should save him. I mean, he doesn't. this character doesn't even necessarily beat I think Seth. I think Bushin would get overwhelmed by But Kuko. Boxer does okay against Seth. Not great, you know, he loses as well, but Boxer's got a chance. Seth has to think a bit, you know? I played, I had some casuals with uh, Momi at Dreamhack Winter, and he said, Well, Skiv, why are you so free? And I was quite embarrassed, actually. He was blowing me up. <laughs> All right, these guys played. For those of you who don't know, these guys played yesterday in teams. I've got the matches recorded. They will be on YouTube in a couple of days. Uh, Punko was able to reversal OCV uh, Mommy's team, which was Mommy, Aliyun, and Gamer B, and save Team Korea, which obviously and consequently played us in the semi final, uh, Team UK. and. Uh, I mean, it was a such a close match between these two. Oh, wow, he gets tagged, he gets tagged. Brave, brave tandem. Starting well here for Puko. Oh, clever. Dash in, tick bro. Good block. Wow, Rango Birkin. Nice. Mommy gets himself back in. It was so close between these two yesterday. I can't, I literally can't call it. Doing that dash forward, jump back, head stop. Oh, he should have got the trip guard on that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Nice focus back dash gets Puko in a good position. Oh, what? Standing jab doesn't work out. I'm not sure what blocks from Puko's going for there. Oh, that's guaranteed record. Oh, my days, lad. Dashing SPD has worked out. Puko now on the verge of sealing this off. Cross up. There you got it. Bow. There you got him. Well, I mean, for me, it's like... Okay, I understand why you're staying there, but I don't know, like, like, wouldn't you test first to see, I mean, you're in trouble anyway. Let's see if your, your opponent is actually option selection. Let's see what they're doing when I do try to escape. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, these guys are going in. Guaranteed jab. He wasn't ready for it. Oh, empty jump SPD. And Puko. With the momentum, that's in front. Oh, clever back throw. Mommy and Al's in trouble now. In front, good block again. Show you. Oh, nice. He's gonna get an ultra here. No, he doesn't oh. get three hits. Tick throw. Oh, that wasn't a safe job. Mommy and Al. Oh, he's ready for the teleport. It's better to do show you against Feilong, show you FADC board backdash if you're worried about taking risks. Good reactions there from Mommy and L to see that one off. I think Ireland just beat a team on the other setup, by the way. Yeah? I'm not sure what country it is, but back to this match. Oh, uh, almost. That was a deep one. Him in the corner as well. Oh, ready. Mommy and L. Oh, tension. Puts him in the corner. Good play here from Mommy. Puko in a bit of trouble. He doesn't anti air. Oh, he gets caught by the SPD. Puko's back in it. Oh, don't press nothing, blood. Don't stand there, man. No SPD, you blood. Another one. He's going to do another trouble. one. He's in trouble. Oh, nice escape there. This is looking very, very tense now. Mommy has the life lead. Oh, my God. What? I'm not sure why that works. That's worked out well for Punko. Mind Tip. game. 
Oh, sorry, delay. In front. He drops his combo. Bunko drops his combo. Oh, God. Mommy and I'll get a chicken wing. Overhead. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know. What? What? What is he doing? Oh my days, Mommy NL absolutely capitulates there. And Punko able to see it out. Oh man. Oh, man, that was That's heartbreaking. And maybe there was a read he was going for there, T Tandon maybe? maybe? I don't know, maybe he was expecting an empty jump Tandon? I don't know why he ultra there, it was the most bizarre decision he he probably just completely forgot about the jump off the wall and thought he was just going to land into it or something yeah yeah you know get a juggle in oh so we have Bushin after all punko will feel justice done there because he did actually have the game there after dropping his combo um before dropping his combo sorry dropping that combo cost him the game so it didn't in the end but it, it could have cost him the game good play there from um mommy NL. pushed him right to the edge but again punko able to just edge it very similar to the match yesterday and you know, he knows Phelon quite well. You know, we've seen him play that character of all sorts many a time now. Well, they have just used their They've just used their, their trump card really there. Putting on Mommy Ellen. Didn't work out too well for them. So let's see. Um, Bushin will need to take out Punko, Gamer B, and Dominion. Yeah. Although he may not need to take out. Oh, Dominion's actually awake. Kind of. He's kind of half awake. His hand's kind of twitching in a way. He's way. kind of down for the count. Uh, this game is so boring compared to Marvel, man. Why am I here, dude? FML, man. MLS. So if someone was saying uh, on the chat that Bushin is more clutch than Mommy, he'll need to be. These guys play this matchup a lot, of course, they know Seth quite well. Oh, they got 30 in uh, Neville, haven't they? Wow, nice conversion. The pressure's on, safe jump. Option select sweep. Oh, guaranteed the thing. Oh. Oh, I like Ultra. Oh my God, he's left him alive. You never leave Seth alive. Don't leave Seth alive. Oh God. James, what's gonna happen here? Don't, he's in big don't, trouble. Don't touch the microphone. Oh, oh, oh God. Teleport. Oh, God. That is the most, I've been in that situation, Bushna. You do not leave Seth alive. Because that, that, you, you suffer for that. That's when the Seth is at his most dangerous. This time he does game. Difficult position now oh, for a charge character. Hit? Yeah, he can kill the charge and apply mix up. Oh, nice. That was. I would have never blocked that one. This side is still happy to go for those top. Cafe in Puko! Oh, Riverdance games. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's not much he can do here. What has he done? What has he done? What has he done? It was a reversal. Didn't he have the EX headbutt there? You know, I, I wonder because I wonder if EX headbutt would have taken him over to the other side. And then he could have ultra it. As it used to be. Yeah. He should have tried. Maybe he thought save the meter for the next round. I'm curious as to what would have happened if he had uh, done an EX headbutt there. Nice turn punch. One frame links. Oh, I think he was expecting a DP or something. He just stopped. Should have kept it going against Seth. It really counts. Nice. Oh, drops the bar. Got a good lead here. A little bit of bar. Just doesn't want to jump into. Oh, Ultra. he's sagged. Get out of there. No, he stays. Gets caught. In trouble now. Empty jump SPD. Oh, nice. focus forward dash. Bushnell in good position here to finish this off. Puka has the two bars. Gets out of the corner. Oh, oh he gets tagged. He's going to go in the corner. Down. He's, ultra. He's ultra. This is going to kill him. Puka's taking it. He stands up. He spins 360. 
He puts his hands in the air. It's Kuko. He's a machine. The he's guy's a machine. machine. And Team Holland, unfortunately.